time of year again. We're headed to the Swan. Chuck Swan, that is. Chuck Swan Wildlife Management Area here in Union County. It's November 11, 2020. It's muzzleloader hunt. So, hope y'all enjoy this little hunt. We'll we we'll try to make a little video on this. Hope we have some luck this time. So, it's a beautiful place here. Right. We're gonna pull off here and get set up. And we're here at the campsite. So, Y'all take care, and we'll be back in a minute. Well guys, we're set up here at the Swan. It is rained hard all day here tried to cover up the camper because I just don't trust them when they get old but we're going to enjoy ourselves so dries up a little bit we'll have a big bar going so we're going to hit the swan here a little bit do a little scouting so y'all stick around Guys, as we're heading out to do some scouting, I noticed uh, they've been making a new building here. I guess a new ranger station, checkout station. I don't know. I was here two months ago squirrel hunting and doing a little scouting, and none of this was going on. They just started doing this. So I guess they're adding on a little addition here. they well in progress of it. Well, anyway, we head back in here and get off the main roads on these little hunting roads here. All this wind and rain has brought the leaves down like nobody's never even been on these roads. But it's so beautiful. Just look at it. We're going back in here to check some fields, some alternative hunting places. Just so beautiful. We're on the Lost Creek side. And here just 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 looking at nature. Here's some old fields and big old oak. That's a big one. That's seen some history. Here we find around some of these places that we're gonna hunt. We finding some buck rubs here few here and few there. And if we're lucky, we find a scrape here and there. I found one. And we check out some of these old cornfields here. And get around in behind them here. That's about where the deer is, the edge of these thickets. And we'll just head on back to camp here. At least the sun's come out today, finally been a dreary day this morning so we're going to head on back to camp here and uh, make us something to eat get ready for tomorrow and we're back here at camp got us a bar going fixing us something to eat and a lot of other campers has been coming in here too anyway at our dinner we sit around and Talk about what we've seen today, where we want to go, wherever our alternative places is, if somebody beats them to it, or we don't see nothing the next day, or whatever. And just enjoy the evening. Nothing better than a good campfire. Well, it's morning. Back at the Swan. In line, probably a mile, two mile back from the gate. It's 4.49, it ain't even 5 o'clock yet. And they'll open the gates about 5.30. And the rush should be on. So. Actually work with you. Well, we're moving.
the race is on. seen them mornings where nothing seems to go right. Well, this is one of them mornings. Let's hope something comes through. The first hour, it was pretty clear. About an hour, hour out of daylight, the fog rubbed up out of that holler. I don't know if it come off the lake or what, but it just, just engulfed this taller coming right up the ridge. And as time went on, it just moved in here thicker and thicker. It got to where you couldn't see 10 to 20 yards in front of you. Seen some, heard some stuff moving around in that fog. Them deer ain't stupid, they using it for cover. And it started clearing up about a half hour later. And I, 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 I seen a deer over here to my left. I tried every way in the world to blow it up to show it to y'all, but I, I couldn't show it to you, make it, you could see it. I seen one doe this morning, that's it, no buck. There's a corn, it's a cornfield. there behind them trees facing the cornfield come into that fog well, guys we come in for lunch we stop by here and see what's been checked in and so far today there have been 10 checked in the biggest one was an eight pointer it sure wasn't one of ours and you can see where archery they killed three of course it's 85 degrees then and youth two, youth, two weeks ago, a youth hunt got 26. They shot the woods down. And here we're back here at camp here after we eat lunch before we head back out. I thought I'd show you. This is the campground that we're at. It's a pretty nice place. I wished it had electricity though, hookup. I'd be willing to pay for it. But it's just a primitive, primitive, uh, campsite. A lot of guys drive in and hunt. Now here on top of the, behind the ranger station is the number one campsite. It's up on a hill here. It's a nice place, but it's primitive too. No electricity, no water. You just camp on your own. And it's a pretty nice place. It's good just to get out in places like this and enjoy nature itself. Now I did manage to see a few deer here around some of the campers. Here's a 13 inch spike. It's a nice little deer, a year and a half old maybe. Nice deer, I'd be happy with that. Here, another guy, he had a little six point, wasn't real big, but it's a pretty deer. I reckon there was some nine points killed here and they was big deer, is what the ranger told me. But I didn't manage to catch them. 
Well, anyway, we head back to the woods here and hunt the rest of the evening in the same spot we hunted this morning. Well, we didn't do no good at all today, so we're trying to figure us out an alternative place to go tomorrow. They're on to us where we're at, so too much scent in the woods. Well, here we're back at the blast off, I call it again. Heading back in about 5.30, open the gates. We're going to a different spot. Here where we've set up in a different place here I'm watching fields they's pretty good pretty good trails here and rubs we found them the day before yeah. just be patient let's just hope something comes through now I did manage to catch some late in the evening catch some does way off in the distance as I could zoom in on. I could get a picture of these. There's three or four of them. But they just wouldn't come out to these fields, not during the daylight. We stayed here to dark all day. Pretty place. Well, we didn't do no good, so I checked the ranger station here as we're getting coming out of here. There was two nine-points killed, one yesterday, one today. That's them big ones that the ranger told me about. Well, guys, I really enjoyed myself. I hope y'all have, too. Now, I've got another hunt coming up here in the, the middle of December. It's the gun hunt, so y'all stay tuned. I thank you for watching and hope you enjoy it.